What is going on, my friends, and welcome back again to Terry's Theories. I am Terry. All right, guys, man, I hope y'all are well. Man, I can't complain. Everything seems to be going well for myself. Uh, I ran across something pretty interesting that I want to share with you guys. Now, this takes place in New Mexico on July the 7th of this year, 2021, and it is MUFON case number 116761. And I'm going to read to you from the description that came along with the report. Now it reads, round object headed northbound along Interstate 25 near the second Baleen exit in New Mexico at 8.47 a.m. Object appeared to be round and flying in straight path. The speed was too fast to be an air balloon or weather balloon. There were no blades, no wings or strings attached as there are on weather balloons. The color was a gray metal color. No lights on the object itself. Clouds were a bit low that day due to our rainy season, and it was just below those clouds, so maybe 800 feet above ground level. And they go on to say that they're a native of New Mexico, and we see a lot of hot air balloons all the time. And this thing was flying about as the height as an average air balloon can go, but was not a hot air balloon. Check this out, and after the video, I've got some close-ups and wait till you see this thing. It's definitely not a balloon that I'm familiar with. Take a look at this and tell me what you think. All right, here we go. So definitely an interesting sighting. Now remember, this object is keeping pace with the cars below it. Uh, so that kind of takes out hot air balloon and weather balloon. Now, once we get a kind of a closer look at this, I know it's a little bit blurry, but to me, it looks like it's got something going on around the perimeter of this object. Now, we've seen that before in UFOs. Now, could that be an effect from anti-gravity technology? Could this be a type of camouflage? You know, if we had gray skies, you wouldn't even, it'd be really hard to see this. It would blend right in with the cloud coverage. Uh, could that be uh, what it was trying to do and it just, you know, didn't quite make it? I don't know. I found it very interesting and I definitely wanted to get this out to you guys. So we have seen spherical UFO sightings before. And I guess we can just add that to the list. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've seen something similar to this before. And also I'd like to get your theory on the distortion that we're seeing around the perimeter of this spherical object. Is it uh, something to do with the camera? Is it uh, an effect from anti-gravity technology? You know, we've seen this type of disturbance on many types and different size sizes of ufos and yet we're seeing it here as well so that definitely points to something all right guys so i guess i'm gonna wrap this up man i appreciate y'all dropping by i hope you enjoyed the video i look forward to discussing uh, this sighting with you and uh, maybe we can get a better idea on what this is and possibly match it up with another sighting uh, of similar circumstances and I guess that's about it. Uh, oh, one more other thing. Uh, I'm going to be looking into getting a, a FLIR or infrared camera. So if you have any uh, suggestions on a good quality camera that would be good for what we are interested in, you know, sky watching, uh, zooming capabilities, uh, that type of quality camera. Uh, if you if you got any suggestions, throw them out there. I would love to hear them. Uh, so I've been doing some research on this subject so I can hopefully pick out the best camera for, for the channel. And um, I'd appreciate it. All right, guys. That's it for today. This is Terry with Terry's Theories. Terry out.